It's good morning, Antigua Barbuda. Today's Wednesday midweek. We have with us, of course, Parliamentary Representative for All Saints West Constituency, uh, the Honorable Chandler Codrington. Good morning, sir. A pleasant good morning. Well, uh, I see I look kind of toppled up on the screen there. You know, all them paraphernalia. <laughs> yes. What one? <laughs> you know, I listened to um, Dr. Ken Ned this morning. Yes. And I was really inspired. He said, look, when you come on this earth, you must leave your mark. Mm. You must be unique and be proud of it. Mm. And so that is what I can be classified as ever since you have known me in the politics. Unique. Unique yeah. and different and not ashamed to leave my stamp upon the sand of time. Okay. Now, you have a lot of things. First <laughs> of all, sir, uh, uh, you have a Bible here. And then yes. you have... What is this that you have here? Another uh, uh, booklet. What is strange, um, as um, um, Drusilla, Drusilla, Drusilla. Yeah. was speaking just now, mm. um, I was on the same scripture which says, living things have a lifelong craving for food mm. and water. Hunger and thirst are natural cravings which must be satisfied if life is to be sustained in the spiritual sphere. Christians must crave for righteousness in order to maintain a close relationship with God. And this is what I, as an individual, aspire to crave for righteousness. But with that righteousness comes the degree of faith, because yeah, as Abraham was accorded um, righteousness by faith, so we too on this earth must demonstrate our faith in God. And when I look on um, Romans 10, 6, it says, um, but the righteousness which is of faith, speak on this wise. Say not in your heart, who shall ascend unto heaven? That is to bring Christ down. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what it said? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thine heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. In other words, if we want to have our prayers answered, we must understand that it is even nigh unto you. It is already accomplished. And some of us go around life with a big uh, millstone around our neck and whine and moan and so. That is not me. And so I'm talking about the uniqueness that I bring to politics. And this is why I want to just, you know, one, thank the people of All Saints West for, uh, you know, having had me as the parliamentary representative. Most, much people, a lot of people do not understand that the difference between a minister and a parliamentarian. Mm. Now, as it is now, I am not a parliamentarian. That tenure, that period has elapsed. Mm. I'm now an ordinary candidate. And that's why you see I'm now sporting the um, United Progressive Party's um, uniform, and therefore seeking to be elected as the parliamentary representative of the Olsen's West constituency. Now here it is that I want to show the difference now because people have difficulty in separating the parliamentary representative with the position of a minister. And the minister is the executive body of the cabinet. So because the individual ceases to be an MP, it does not mean that he ceases to be a minister. And that's why I keep telling people, the prime minister can go to Japan or China and bring someone to be a minister. People keep saying, oh, you get so much vote. Vote has nothing to do with the ministry. As a minister, you are chosen at the pleasure of the prime minister. Yes. He can go to Japan and bring a man to be a minister. For which Antigua? Well, I just want you to know that is what our constitution st states. So if anything, <laughs> we have to change the constitution. For which I dig it. Oh. You go into Japan, you got eh? that is in the con That is what the constitution states. It says so. So we have to change the constitution, not to criticize and say, oh, Shanla um, doesn't have so much vote. The vote is not tied to the ministerial position. Mm -hmm. That is what I want to be clear in the minds of the people of Antigua and Barbuda. Okay, so the executive continues, and of course now you're on the campaign trail. <laughs> yes. Why should the people of, uh, of course, your constituency, or the constituency that you're hoping to represent again, re-elect you? Well, you have to look in terms of the bifold relationship the that I have. The bipartisan. Oh. In other words, I am part of the United Progressive Party mm -hmm. who has committed and has delivered to the people of Antigua. So as an individual, yes, I can go on my track record, but when you look on the performance 
of the umbrella government, the United Progressive Party, there is no doubt. Now, if I look here on this um, thing which I have here, United we have it articulated. Party. We have it articulated of the performance of the economic recovery and restoration, a model to the world. This is normally in the paper of the, um, the Observer paper mm -hmm. um, on a weekly basis of the performance of the government. So I encourage people to go and to read to see the performance and the track record of the United Progressive Party. And when you look in terms of the, 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 the let me use the economic action plan. I'm very um, heartened when I, I see here, the, through the Construct Antigua and Barbuda Initiative, we arrange for 10 to 15 percent discount on all building supplies procured locally at hardware stores. It goes on to talk about the CABI pro pro program ensured a further reduction of interest rates to 7 percent to 25 to 30 years. Now, this is out outstanding on the part of the United Progressive Party. When we think about the discounts with participating hardware stores, which are ranged between 5 to 20 percent, and the list goes on. Now, when you think of the school uniform, I could go back through what you know, the school uniform, the school meets program, the pensioners' um, uh, average increase from $125 to $1,150 on an average, the pensioners' increase. From what? From an average of $125 a month to $1,150 per month. That is outstanding. And, and as a note, because people have to, you have to be... I have to be very careful and keep repeating what I say. It is on an average. Do you know why I'm saying that? The last time I was here on this very program, you notice I sent a shockwave across the country because people, even the media, do not seem to listen carefully. I said I do not believe in going from house to house, eating fungi and sawfish like VC bird, just to prove that I'm grassroots. I made it absolutely clear. I said, I believe, I continued by saying, I believe in going out to the people, telling them this is what I'm going to do, and when I'm, I, I have accomplished that, then I come back with my track record. I actually indicated my track record and said, on that basis, you vote for me. No, all of a sudden, I hear it all over the red channel. I say, he's not going out to campaign. When... I have been out there for the last three months campaigning. Well, the folks from your constituency would know that, irrespective of what the exactly. media is saying. Exactly. Right? So, uh, yeah, so we'll move on. So, but mm. we look at this thing. Uh, and so one of the reasons why people must vote for me, uh. is primarily so, is the, this, the spiritual dimension which I bring. Um, yeah, you see, I have here again honesty, integrity, trust, and sincerity. And in this brochure, if you notice, I also have as one of my uh, tenets establishing a godly, conscious constituency. We tend to ignore these uh, dynamics. We cannot. We cannot run a country without God at the helm. And I say that with passion, because we cannot run the benefits of God, but it's a shame to be associated with him. And from that dimension, I will say that I am going to ensure that as I go out on the campaign trail, that I bring consciousness of godliness to this nation of Antigua and Barbuda. We can talk about all the, 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 the achievements. We can talk about the aspirations. I, I could go through this long list. People know them. But what we must not and cannot forget is that, that realistic relationship with God Almighty because he is the source and the strength of our very existence. But you must understand that election is not Sunday school.